Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. This is installment 11 of the Coon Man Diaries, uh, also known as Live from Corona Country here in Southwest Virginia, where the Coon Man has decreed that we're all supposed to house arrest. Good news to report on this 11th installment is that people are not house arresting. In fact, uh, I, this is the most people I've seen out so far since the Coon Man's order came down. You can see all the cars. Uh, and I've seen a lot of people. Unfortunately, the one thing I haven't seen, a lot of the small businesses uh, remain essentially shut down. But curiously, meanwhile, uh, all of the big corporate stores remain open, including the big chain food stores, the big chain big box stores. And it occurs to me that uh, Corona fever is greatly benefiting these big corporations at the expense of all these small businesses, uh, which have been prohibited from doing business. But the government, uh, our masters in state capitals and in Washington, seem to think it's just peachy, or at least it's, it's essential and necessary to keep those functions going. Uh, so the longer this goes on, the more these big corporate interests can leverage their corona advantages uh, to extinguish all their smaller rivals. And I suppose if and when all of this is over, then they'll be able to buy up everything on a dirt cheap and uh, force pretty much everybody who is not currently working for some crappy corporation to go, go bend knee and go work for some corporation where, of course, You'll have to be subject to all of the indignities of modern corporate life, including peeing in a cup to make sure that you're not a druggie, uh, adhering to all of their politically correct guidelines with interacting with everybody and having to live in fear of misgendering somebody and losing your job because of that. Uh, so that's one of the other pernicious aspects of Corona fever. By the way, if you haven't done it, uh, I strongly recommend, while the internet is still up, having a look uh, at various alternative media sites, including mine, where you can get information about the actual uh, lethality of corona fever as opposed to uh, its hyped lethality. I've already read several uh, legitimate studies. Uh, these are not uh, conspiracy theory sites. These are very serious, sober uh, medical journals, uh, epidemiological information. Uh, that gives the lie to some of these worst case scenarios and points out that um, as far as we know the majority of people who are dying from this are uh, significantly elderly not uh, uh, not just social security age uh, but funeral home age 80 90 year old people uh, and older and um, the younger ones apparently I read something this morning who have um, been felled by corona actually were felled with corona but not by corona uh, they had significant underlying health problems as well. Now, uh, none of us actually have all the facts, which is part of the reason why this is so absurd. These draconian, tyrannical measures are being imposed on us without real solid information, which is crazy when you think about it. Uh, what they're doing is fundamentally transforming not just the United States, but the entire world based on what? based on these hysterical speculative scenarios and uh, data that is open to interpretation. I think it's really important that we have facts before we drive ourselves over a cliff. Anyway, uh, this will be part one. I'll do part two um, in just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna drive by our local regional trauma, trauma center again uh, to see whether the, uh, the trauma has increased see whether the bodies are stacking up. I've had a number of people uh, contact me through the site and through email uh, in other parts of the country who've been doing the same, who either work at or know people who work at uh, hospitals around the country. And so far, not one of them has reported that the hospitals are unusually busy. Uh, in fact, all of them have said things are quite quiet. One person wrote me today, uh, that his wife had been uh, uh, let go and someone else had been let go in the emergency department because apparently there's not enough work to do. So I don't know what to say about that. You know, we keep hearing about the bodies stacking up, but we don't see the bodies stacking up. We hear these hysterical news stories uh, and we hear all these pronunciamentos, tents going up in Central Park in New York City. But frankly, I, I don't trust uh, anything that these uh, that these media organs and the government are saying and we've got good reason for that anybody who doesn't have uh, a good good degree of built-in suspicion about what they're being told by these parties that all stand to gain from corona fever frankly is naive at best and a fool at worst so 
uh, open up your eyes, go out and look around, go, be, go drive by your local hospital and see if you see bodies stacking up. Um, and if we don't see bodies stacking up pretty soon, I think we've got a real problem on our hands and uh, there ought to be hell to pay for all the damage that's being done uh, to whatever vestigial liberties that we still enjoy in this country. Uh, anyway, uh, more again shortly. Thanks as always for listening and reading and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon.